Well, good evening, greetings, and salutations. This is Passionate Bliss, and I'm here again tonight with questions, comments, useless facts about me. But first, go to my YouTube channel, Passionate Bliss. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you over there. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, okay? Well, today, my questions came from relationships. As you know, this is a relationship channel, and we're prepping to try to reunite men and women, in particular black men and women, because there's a divide and seems to be some um, issues in between us. And we wanted to start working on reconnecting, okay? And so um, one of the things I wanted to talk to is the feeling of desperation, because some of us, you know, get up in age, I'm 47, and we still haven't met, you know, that perfect person or that one who's just right. Um, and so sometimes we have a tendency to get desperate and maybe date people we shouldn't or maybe hook up with people we shouldn't hook up with. And so my questions are these. Um, are you so tired of being alone that you've reached a state of desperation? Would you know if you were getting desperate if you were? And do you think that desperation is something that people can see on you, smell on you, hear on you? <laughs> okay. And my quote for today is this. Um, and it kind of tie, it ties into if you are getting desperate. My quote, quote for today is this. It actually came from an older woman that I work with. She said, in a relationship, one person has to love more. And it has to be the man. Or else he'll act the goddamn fool. Okay. And so... Um, uh, I kind of think that that's true, just the way I see things play out. And so as women, we want to be um, appealing. You know, We don't want an air of desperation to be coming off of us because that's repelling to men. So I'm just kind of talking to the ladies today. Um, tips to you know, keep us from looking desperate, I think. Um, one of them is don't be too available. And you know, uh, it's kind of like playing games. And that's what some people say. I want to be transparent. I want to be, you know, I don't play games, you know, and I don't either. And I don't, I don't actually, but, um, it says, don't be too available. Um, because if you're too available, you're right there. Every time he calls, you're right there. Every time he texts, you text right back. You're too available to me personally. I would start to wonder as a man, do she not have anything to do? but wait to respond to me. So you don't want to be too available. And um, the best way to not be too available is to not be available. Be busy, you know, only check, only look at your phone every, you know, a couple hours or so, you know, and uh, call back at the end of the day when you're relaxed, you know, you don't have to necessarily call them back on your lunch break. So uh, just don't be too available. Because if you're too available, it does kind of look like she's waiting on my every word. Okay. So let's try that one tip. Don't be too available. Um, I don't think you should be available anyway. Okay, so I don't consider it to be playing games. Um, number two, don't look needy, okay? Uh, don't text him too much, too fast, too often. Um, don't text him like you're a super freak, you know? Even if you are a super freak, let him wait and find out. You know, don't give him no super freaky text, okay? Because that's going to look like you need something badly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, things may go left or go faster than you intended them to. So don't te text him like a super freak. It makes you look too needy, okay? Number three, uh, don't text too much. Don't text too many compliments. You know, if he doesn't answer you right back, don't get antsy. Ask you, is your phone working? Uh, is my phone working? Are you getting these messages? You know, if you're too antsy and you're looking, you know, too, too needy, then that's repellent because it looks like you're desperate. Smacks of desperation. Um, next one, number four, um, don't invite him to things that are too far out. Okay. Cause especially if it's somebody you just met, you know, and you want to invite him to the Gullah festival, which is several months away, or you want to invite him to, you know, uh, the water festival, which is many months away. That's too far out. It's too much. It's like you trying to latch onto him and they start to feel antsy and trapped. And you also, again, look desperate and it repels them. Okay. Um, number five, don't be too eager, too attentive. Um, don't be more there. Don't overload him with too much information, which I'm oft, often guilty of because I have a tendency to feel like, look, if I, if I tell you what I'm about up front, I'm not your speed, then you can get away sooner and quit, don't waste a bunch of my time if you know I'm not what your flavor is. But actually that kind of overloads people and overwhelms them, especially men. And so, um, these are ways that we can look desperate without even realizing it, um, and so I just wanted us to kind of go over, go over those at least, you know. 
Um, also, you know, and this is just my personal stuff now. Things that I think smack of desperation in a woman. And uh, you may or may not agree with this, but, you know, some people <laughs> do. I think if you approach a man, that smacks of desperation. Ask him for his phone number, smacks of desperation. You know, repeated calls and texts and DMs and he's not answering you, smacks of desperation. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's all I got. The other stuff is like down the road stuff like agreeing to pay half the bills when you move in. And that smacks of desperation. Paying half of nothing. Okay. And so those are just some things that I had that I want us to, you know, not repel without even realizing it. So sometimes we have to be a little bit more conscious. And, um, you know, remember they're the chasers. It's in their nature to chase. It's his God-given right to pursue. Let him pursue. And don't look desperate because he'll stop pursuing. You know, okay. And with that being said, that's food for thought. We're going to think about that. And um, tomorrow I'll be talking to the men. And tell them how you can look desperate too. And you scare us. <laughs> okay. All right. With that being said, y'all have sweet dreams. We like to find them all real.